Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? Spiritual Barbie here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome. Okay. You guys, please remember to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Okay. Ring the bell next door. Okay. So you guys, we're going to have a look into your love life for this week, the 17th to the 23rd. Let's have a look. Doesn't matter what your situation is. Let's have a look. Okay. So my Geminis, you can get the extended version to this reading. It's already up. It's on the Vimeo. The link is down below. You can also get the um let's how do i put this you can also join the patreon links down below and you can also order your own personal private reading it's the main thing i do my private business um you can order the reading via the site the site is linked down below all right now that we've gotten that going you guys feel free to subscribe to the vimeo channel if you always want to be notified when i upload to the vimeo subscribe to the vimeo okay some of you guys have already done so all right and thank you for that, by the way. You guys you guys gave me the idea. I was like, oh, shit, I should tell them to subscribe. Uh, oh, 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 oh. All right, let's have a look. All right, Gemini. <laughs> What's coming this week? What's happening? Your energy is very light and bright and love. All right, so boom. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all get into the clarity. Clarity. You know what I mean? Y'all got some clarity about your love life. What you got clarity about? Oh, oh, I feel like your intuition was telling you something and you got the clarity. You know what I mean? You got some Gemini. Some is manifesting. You got some divine spark realization. It's happening right now of what your intuition has been telling you to do and what your intuition is telling you about your love life. Oh my God. You guys know what this is, but you got some clarity. So right now your challenge is trying to make up your mind. You probably, you be sitting here being mad and decisive. And it's because it's like your belief system. But in reality, it's nothing to be indecisive about. You're going to end up um, just taking whatever this is, offer, whatever this offer is, this new beginning, this this truth. You're going to end up taking action on this, okay? But right now, you're just kind of getting split up, and you're taking a look at all the different belief systems, all the different things that have been separating you from your connection, separating you from your commitment. You, This person gave you a truth. You gave this person a truth. It just worked out. And now you're kind of like trying to decide if whether or not this is real or not, what to do about it, what to say, what's, you know what I'm saying? And you just need to just go with it, okay? You know what it is. You know that it's true. You're just, you know, getting closer to your commitment. So in the recent past, this person became very overburdened. You did. This connection became very overburdened. Your love life became very overwhelmed. There was a lot of things that were stressing you out in this connection. A lot of things that were stressing you out about your person. There's a lot of things going on in life as well. That was just too much for you to handle, Gemini. And you guys were also dealing with a lot behind the scenes, beneath the surface. There was a lot of things that you guys were taking a look at, that you guys were not able to take a look at. I also feel like this person, they were overburdened with their own secrets, you know what I'm saying, in their own lives. But I feel like for the for most of you guys, for the majority of you guys, for the majority of these people, of this person, this person is not, it's not like they had like some sketchy stuff. It feels like whatever it was that was going on, it's like very valid, you know. It was, you know, but they confronted some stuff and that cycle has come to an end. And that's why you have this clarity now. That's why you got this new beginning, Gemini. That's why you got this communication. This confirmation is what I'm hearing. So in the root of this reading, there's a truth that's coming to pass. You're getting some major truth, Gemini. Oh my God, Gemini, you're getting some major fucking truth right now. But it's actually really loving and sweet. But it's still fucked up. But it's really loving and sweet. You're going to understand. I feel like you guys felt like you were paranoid about something because your intuition was telling you something about something and you got to communicate clarity about what your intuition was telling you. And now you're kind of like, what should I do? Just trust in it and believe in it because it's fine for you. Because you got this new beginning here. And this new beginning was covered by um, par being paranoid, okay? And this new beginning is around something that you were paranoid about, okay? You got a deep truth and you're reconnecting with your part of your inner child that you weren't connected with before, Okay. This is very deep. I I almost don't think that whoever this happened to or whoever did this to you didn't think you would make it out of this. They thought you would stay this way. And they did it for your protection, though, but they also did it because they couldn't stand you, though. But they did it for your protection. That's why I feel like it's something that was like, you're over it, but at the same time, it would piss you off. And if, But if you were them, you would have done the same thing. That's just what it is. If you were them, you would have done the same exact thing. <laughs> All right, but there's a new beginning here. You guys are also... Um, unearthing some things that have been making you paranoid. You guys are stepping away from things that make you paranoid. I don't know. You're kind of getting paranoid about your connection because you got some truth, okay? So, and that's coming up this week, the truth about something you've been paranoid. So in your conscious thoughts, what you're desiring, you're wanting fulfillment, okay? You're thinking about something, something very happy. You're celebrating something. There's something very happy, happy that's happening right now, okay? 
there is there is something that is um, going the way you want it to go. Your connection, your love life, you got a victory and it's going the way you want it to go. You guys already had this victory, you're getting it soon. Um, and you're going to be celebrating it, but you if you already have it, you're still celebrating it. And it's just because you're just like realizing that all your worries are completely unnecessary, literally, about your person and about this connection. You just weren't embracing something about yourself, Gemini. So in the recent past, you got some clarity. A truth came to you in the recent past. Someone came towards you and told you something that was very honest and real. You got some news from a doctor, I'm hearing, about your health, about something that you, you, you know, that you were kind of hoping would get better, but I'm hearing it got worse. And you're getting the clarity on why this, this has happened, okay? Or why this has been the case for you. And you might have felt like this was happening. And, um, you know, you might have felt like this was happening, but now you're getting the clarity about it. This just, it just feels like you took action, Gemini. You've been in, like, this energy where you've been, um, like, in charge of yourself, stepping up for yourself, speaking up for yourself. What is this? Okay, end of a tough cycle. Concluded a cycle. You guys are like done. Like, you've been done with this. Wow. Feels like you guys might have had a, an opportunity to do something, but it, the opportunity, did, like, it didn't really work out. So you, like, in you dropping this opportunity, you concluded a cycle in your love life, okay? And you broke out of a limiting belief system around frustration, chaos, lack. Oof, this is very convoluted. Yeah. You know what you want to hold on to and you're holding on to it. You got some big ass clarity. They said don't clarify more on this clarity though. What the heck is this clarity? Uh oh. Oh my. Oof. There's a wish coming true. You guys are getting a wish fulfilled. Dang, Gemini. A wish fulfilled around your family and around your long-term happiness. Damn. What the heck? Even in the accepted. You guys gotta watch the extended reading, by the way. You gotta go. You gotta go. I mean, you, you're. You, I mean, it's nonsense. It's ludicrous to miss out on that one. That's you're not thinking. Oh my God. This is a much. This has been a long-standing change that was going, get, getting, that was taking place, and it's happened. Now it's happened. It's amazing. No help from you. <laughs> Yo, you guys, you have an amazing new beginning here. Whoa. This feels like it's it's love, but it's like it's love for yourself and it's love for your person, love for the world, love for life. This is like multi leveled. You are like, you just entered into a whole new dimension, Gemini, in your connection. You're in a whole new galaxy in this relationship. You're like, you, this is, my, uh, this is past ordinary. Damn. <laughs> Expansion is taking place in the near future, Gemini. Expect some amazingly positive news coming from your person. It's around movement, moving forward. This person wants to move forward. All right, you guys. Let me get a goddess energy. <laughs> Why do I feel like you guys have have already been in this energy of being shocked about something that has happened, but now you're just kind of like in it. Like you're just kind of like living through it and you're just basking in it. But at the same time, there's like that scared cat energy. <laughs> Not nah, the scared cats, but you know, there's just that energy of like you being like, huh? But it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's a queen here. I, 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 I. All right. Dreaming. Be aware of your dreams. Gemini, your dreams are speaking to you, okay? You guys have had dreams for love and for a bright future. And this week, you're realizing one of those dreams. You're realizing a, a dream that you've had. You've had this dream. It's realizing, Gemini. 
That's what's so amazing about it. You're just, I don't even think you guys know, like, I feel like some of you guys know what this is, like, you feel, you know what this is, but you don't fully, you're not, you're not in the energy just yet, it hasn't really, it hasn't, it hasn't manifested yet, Gemini, I don't know what you guys get into, but stay in it, I always say that, just stay in it, <laughs> don't leave, all right, let me go, let me see, let me see, whoa, all right, all right, Goddess is manifesting. She comes to remind you that your visions, imaginings, and dreams are part of their, that perfect pattern. Beware of symbols and archetypes that may manifest in your dreaming or waking world. They have, they all have a significance. However, however they come, be gentle with them. Like a shy guest, if they're paid too much direct attention, they will hide away, afraid to reveal themselves. Once the gift of a dream has been revealed itself fully, it can shine in your life, filling you with a sense of purpose. Treasure your, your dreams. Spend time with them, understanding their messages and caring for them with your imagination. They will flourish and cherish. And char they will flourish and enrich your life. So your, your affirmation is, I allow the messages held in my dreams and visions to guide my understanding of who I am. Okay, so let your body move. All right, so Gemini, that's what I have for you guys. Um, just know that justice will be served. Justice has been served. All right, Gemini, I'll see you guys over on the Vimeo. I'll see you guys next time, next week. Bye-bye.